Message. I know that's right. You're never ever wrong. What is she saying? I'm gonna get shut down because she wouldn't still want it. The old type of sense of that man. supply store I mean looking at the world with all them pictures on it all them thieves <laughs> I mean like they be looking a hot ass man I mean like they really like be looking like mug shots terrifying please let them have that wig please let them have that wig I remember one time my sister she had one in there and got some black soap but she was like hearing heck of stuff so she had I don't know how she we all don't know how she including her but she like put a soap in her bag on accident not thinking and she was grabbing all the stuff she wanted and then by the time we was about to go check out, she was like, what happened to the black soap? But meanwhile, I was in her bag the whole time. So she went back and got another one, walked out the store, and she realized there was another black soap inside her purse. She swore her put was gonna be up there. Ah! <laughs> you dumbass motherfucker. <laughs> but anyways, and the pictures used to real life scare me off. If you know me, you know I'm terrified of I say I say crackheads. It's a like little it's not a little I always say crackheads, but I mean junkies, period. Half the time drunks too, because it's like like I said, mentally unstable people, I might, I can feel the energy. Like I can tell when somebody's mentally unstable, whether they're on drugs, alcohol, or just need medication, period. <laughs> you feel me? Like four videos ago, when I kept saying the mom was mentally unstable, like I can feel that energy. If she was in the same room as me, I would be standoffish. I would be, I would probably be mugging her and everything. You'll see it all on my face. I do not like none of that. But it's like when I was little, I stayed up the street around where the prostitutes used to be at, all the drug addicts and shit, so. When I go to the, like, the corner store, the liquor store, there was always crackheads out there. They used to be, like, tweaking for real. So, I, I've always been scared of junkies, so. Whenever I see, like, mug shots and their hair is messed up, or people just walk in the store looking a hot mess, looking, ugh, they'll resemble a junkie to me, so it was, like, make me, makes my heart jump. Like, I'll be watching First 48 or something, and I'll put the root in the mug shot, it'll scare the shit out of me. So therefore, I don't like looking at the pictures, but on YouTube, I always um, watch people stealing videos. You know how they lock the doors on them, either it's in the gas station, liquor store, or liquor store. When I say liquor store, that's what we call it where I'm from, like the corner stores, where y'all go get the woods and all that. That's what we call it. I don't know what y'all call it. Y'all probably actually call it the name. We refer to all of them as the liquor store. Hey, they get caught stealing on the cameras and they'll lock the doors on them so when they get ready to walk out, they're done. I was watching the videos on YouTube. So, I was like, why not react to them? They were like, you fucking crazy, y'all. Especially the drug addicts and the store gonna be on the outside of the store and lock her ass in there. She just be banging on there. Ew. Ah! Video says beauty supply bra, girl steals two wigs. So it's only 100, 100. <laughs> I was gonna say 152 seconds, but it's 152. What am I talking about? It's one minute and 52 seconds. <laughs> See, they ain't letting up. What is she saying? What language is that? They finna get shut down because she went there stealing. <laughs> that was a couple cents of that, man. Talk about something getting shot down. What you gonna tell him? <laughs> and they really think they got some power. Look at them. Why are you even in the public looking like that? Your ass just rolled out of bed. Where are they at? Look at her, she's missing all types of hair on the side.
baby daddy finna come. I wonder which one that is. Ooh, he locking her in. <laughs> she said, it. you ain't going nowhere. You thought. <laughs> she should've just left out the door. Where'd she get that wig from? I think my baby daddy can do them. Girl, your baby daddy probably weigh one of his other 12 baby moms. Hi, <laughs> damn. Who's she knocking on the window for? That baby's so confused. Why she got two backpacks? I ain't seen no damn bra. That was the end of the video? I guess that was the end. That's fine, because you should be the one ties me whenever it's a real fight, so. It's the fact that that goes on every day in poverty areas. That is just terrible. I hate being around that. And I mean, like, even after quarantine, they was still, you feel me? Stuff was still boarded up because, ooh, they was, I know they was so happy when all that George Floyd shit went down. It was oh so happy. They was in the bay, they was out there stealing cars off the lot. The whole night. It was geek. They was turned up. <laughs> They were stealing from everything, from the day to sack. It was outside. Wow, that was some Rodney King shit, y'all. I should've went outside and got some footage. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what made them all of a sudden wanna do that, because it happens all the time. I need to be happy with everybody. But yeah, females that act like that, just oh so ignorant. And then they be trying to keep talking about they getting something shut down. What the hell are you getting shut down? You dumbass motherfucker. What are you talking about? That don't make no damn sense. Them people we have here still every day, y'all. Uh, and the same people still be uh, be the ones acting like, you feel me? They better than other people. They got so much more than other people. Like, you just say, my mama the king, my mama the queen. Mm -mm. Girl. <laughs> they steal the cheap shit. Buy the expensive shit, the designer shit. And they might still be 12 months late. Wow! Oh my god! Squatting like a motherfucker. Yo, that's in this video. Comment down below how y'all feel about that whole situation because I don't know. All that type of stuff is not. I think I'd just be thinking too deep about it because I don't know nobody's stealing for me. I don't want nobody scamming me. So the past two videos, it's like, you feel me? I treat people how I want to be treated. I don't do stuff that I want to want done to me. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, that's still a business. That's still, you feel me? But like, comment, subscribe, share with your mommy, your granny, your auntie, your uncles, daycare providers. Comment your two cents down below, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Until next time, little Jayla. Got it. 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 Got